let's let's uh, let's just run around and have a little fun. Why not? We got a ton of ammo. So let's let's shoot some scavs in the face. <laughs> That's kind of an unusual spawn. I don't usually spawn back there. That's cool. Let's go to power station, turn the power on. So now the rain stopped, so all of our footprints will be super loud now. Might as well go around the back. Leave us a little bit less exposed. Um, friends of mine have been finding graphics cards in these computers a lot, so I usually check them. Pretty much every computer I find now. Same with every coat, because the keys that you get sometimes are worth, it can be millions. Same thing with uh, nuts and and bolts. They uh, they're worth their weight in gold for crafting. I mean, crafting is such a good way to maintain an income in game while you're not even playing. So, if you're not crafting, you're really missing out. Even if it's just something as simple as crafting wires or. Um, I craft a lot of magazine cases, which I'll then turn into um, scab boxes. So it's pretty quiet so far. I'm going to be full by the time I even get to the good stuff. Some of the stuff like uh, hard drives and DVD drives, unless you're looking for them for a reason. Ooh, flash drive. There's uh, there's no really reason to pick them up. Power supply. Probably not worth picking up. I think they're only worth like 20k. Oh, I hear Scav yelling. Somebody's pissed off. You. Could have a fight coming up. That Scav might have been underneath. Usually I kind of sort as I go. Anything that's where it has more value. I'll, I'll drop something that's cheaper as I go. Seems to be sort of the most efficient way. If you have the time and you're not pinned down the whole raid. This is a pretty quiet raid so far. I say that now, but... I mean, we could... We could poke through here. There is a Ledex spawn in there, but it's so rare. Should probably check and see if Killer's here. Before we go too much further. I don't see him yet. This is one of my favorite stores on the main floor. Um, because, it, you know, if you end up spawning in as a scav and you have a crappy weapon or something, this one can really help you out quick. Also, sometimes these jackets spawn really good keys, but because I'm recording, it won't be for sure. <laughs> Plus, it's a good spot. You can catch people that are walking by or I didn't bring any grenades, so we're going to have to be careful. So if Killa pops out at... Yeah, there he is. How are you not dead? Really? Jesus Christ, that guy took a lot of bullets. Okay, we gotta get away from here. And heal. In case we run into Killa, because, uh... Oh, 
Well, we pissed somebody off now. So the fact the killer hasn't charged just yet is a little concerning. Could mean he's over in there. No, I think he's in Brutal. right there well that was easy rip killer uh, I guess we're gonna lose that'll be cheaper shooting at me probably in the middle here or on the other side there could be a couple in here where are you hiding Why are you hiding, bro? Don't hide. Here we go. Circuit board. No graphics cards today. There's one. today see if there's any scavs over here some easy shots but I just saw one walk by oh yeah there we go where do you go that was nowhere even close I want to peek it. Where'd your friend go? Your buddy just wandered off, man. I guess he didn't want to play. Oop, graphics card. Got no space. Oh, yeah, I forgot all these stims. Could probably lose these morphines. All right, what time is that? You know what I do have, and I haven't been there yet this year, is the Killa Stash. Let's go check that out. We got Railway. And Power Station. Let's go... Check out Killa Stash. And we'll go kill some scavs along the highway. Call it a tour. Must be must be getting thick. Forty five. That's not that bad. I could throw on an SJ six and uh, run 
most of the way to railway, so not too worried about that. So, I mean, this is a relatively inexpensive card, and as long as the power's on, this is a really good place for loot. I have not even used that yet. This wipe. But just keep in mind the power's got to be on. Monster. Those are expensive. Okay, we're going to have to make some room. What do we want to sacrifice? Definitely want that. already got two heads. Yeah, that's fun. We've got what we need. Let's go for it. And this is kind of risky coming through here because there's a almost always people sniping in that tower there and there's almost always if not PMCs at least three or four scavs along the road here so I would recommend hitting that kill a stash early if the power is on otherwise you could be entering a world of trouble usually too the scavs are out here There's one. So if there's more, they're pissed off now. I mean, we could hit up these stashes on the way out, but I'll check one of them, but usually they're not that great. They're good if you just need um, like crafting materials, stuff like that, then they're good to check, but Watch it prove me wrong. Mm. I guess I don't anticipate having to reload, so. See, look, now it's trying to make a liar out of me. <laughs> I think there's one over here I'm missing, but... It looks like my SJ6 is wearing off. Yeah, we'll grab that, because why not? Have a little drink. Now, at this extract, if you come out to this side to extract, then you got to lay down under the train tracks in order to extract. And I, I don't... You got to lay down under here. Problem is, is that people will shoot your feet from the other side because there's a lot of times extract campers here and they sit in here as well and this is the extract I prefer because you can get right back here and you only have to worry about shooting forward so this has been my interchange run through um, if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below um, and uh, please remember to like and subscribe for uh, for more maps and more routes. Um, and you can also check me out on Twitch four days a week at uh, twitch.tv/oldjohnnyp. Thank you, and have yourselves a great night.